Hello, it's Phil and Heather, and we're out here on the back porch, and today we're gonna to talk about a new gizmo that Heather has purchased, and it's called the... The Tap In Console. And that, what does that do? So that allows you to update your firmware on certain Tamron lenses. Awesome. So right here, this is Heather's 10 to 24 Tamron lens, which she bought used, and she's got it on my FTZ and my Z50. And when you turn it on, it immediately gives you error, press and release shutter button to reset. So you reset and everything works cool for a second. And as soon as you try to focus, it goes back to this error. So apparently this lens is compatible with the FTZ and the, and the Z series cameras if it's on the current firmware. So she got the, what's it called? Tap? Tap in console. The, she bought a used tap in console. She's very thrifty. She bought a used lens and a used tap in console and now she's gonna update the firmware of this lens and we'll try it again and see if it still gives us the error. Okay, so what's in the box? All right, so I bought this from Adorama. It was a demo that they used. So just open it up. Um, have a little Adorama stuff. <laughs> we got some bubble wrap. We have um, looks like a micro USB to a USB tube, and then a USB extender, and then we have the actual console, which is just this little guy. Hmm. So it got a lid on it? Yeah, so on the back... Oh, it's like a body cap. Yeah, it's just like a body cap. It's a little loose. Okay. Now it's tight. Take the other off. So... You take the back cap off of the lens and the body cap off of the tap-in console. Line up the uh, dots, which is... There's the dot on this one. And There's the dot on that one. Okay. Why do I not see the dot anymore? It's on the top. Oh. And well, there easy. you go. All right, so I'm going to bring up a new Google Chrome browser. And at the top, I'm going to type in the Tamron tap in console firmware update and when I do that the first link at the top of the screen is downloads so I'll click on the downloads and we see that they have the tap in utility so that is what we're using to update the firmware on the lens so we'll find the tap in utility by clicking here And then we see that this is the downloads for the tap in utility and you can run it on Windows and Mac as long as you're running at least Windows 8 and at least Mac OS 10.10. .10. So I'm going to come down here. Of course, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to agree and download. Once I agree and download, I see that it showed up in my downloads at the bottom of my Google Chrome browser. So I'll open up that disk image. And then I'll drag the tap in utility over to my applications folder. And once I've successfully done that, I can close out this window and my Google Chrome browser. And now I'll navigate to my applications folder and find the tap in utility and open it. It will make sure that I want to open it and I'll click that I'm okay with that and it wants me to attach the unit to the lens. So now I'll put the micro USB into the tap-in console, and then I'll connect my USB to my computer. firmware is not up to date run update yes so we see that it recognizes my lens and it has asked me if I want to run the update on the lens so I'm going to push yes it says please do not do any of the following during the update turn off your computer don't let the computer enter standby don't you know unplug the tap tap in console 
or anything like that. So we're just going to push OK. And it's updating the firmware on my lens. Got to 50% pretty quick. All right, I'm speeding the video up while it does the firmware update. The whole thing took just a little bit over eight minutes. It got to 50% immediately, and then the second 50% took quite some time. But what I liked about it was it did it right the first time. There was no upgrade fails. That took 12 minutes. Okay. All right, so it's done. I guess it's time to put it on the Z50. I'll get this uh, F-mount lens off of here. Wait, we might as well go ahead and put it right on here. Okay. There you are. Do you have a back cap on that? No, but it'll be alright for a second. Let's, I'm going to turn it on and see. It's working. It works? Mm-hmm. No more errors. Heather has fixed it with her fancy, what do you call that thing? The tap-in console. With the tap-in console. Great job. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.